What is happening, Spider friends? Welcome back to the K Wings Let's Plays channel and more Spider Man on the P. S4. So, Insomniac and Sony has given all of us an early Christmas present, which is the Raimi, aka Tobey Maguire, and the 2002 movie suit, and it looks awesome. So make sure you guys thwip the like button and share this video with your friends for Raimi hype. This is incredible. Yes, yes it is, Toby. So this suit is actually called the web suit uh, as part of the different spider suits you get in this game, which I think is kind of an appropriate name because you can see the webbing all over Toby's suit. Now, I am actually kind of sick of this suit because I have been playing with it in all the different Raimi games that I looked at this year to hype up Spider-Man PS4, Into the Spider-Verse, and Spider-Man Homecoming. So, yeah, it was kind of, I don't know, it's nice to see Toby again, and this suit is 100% film accurate, which is awesome. So if you like that kind of stuff and Toby's, I never really liked the visors, it was kind of creepy. You know, the, the kind of sunglass thing. But this looks awesome. I'm really happy that it made it in. But at the same time, I'm kind of used to studios at this point giving a free DLC costume at Christmas time. Rocksteady has done it ever since Arkham City with, I believe, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Batman Year One was a Christmas present for Arkham City. And Batman Noel was a Christmas present from Arkham Origins. And the free costume that happened at Christmas time for people with Arkham Knight was, if I'm not mistaken, it would be the 2008 Dark Knight suit. So having another movie suit in a video game is awesome, but I know that this suit probably was behind quite a bit of uh, red tape. Movie costumes are a pain in the butt to get into non-licensed movie games. Yeah! So the fact that Sony was able to work with Columbia to get this suit in the game is pretty awesome because it was the franchise, the movie franchise, that started it all for Spidey, and it's something that the late Stan Lee always wanted to rub in Bob Kane's face, that Spider-Man finally has a movie, and it was a really good movie, too, which no one was expecting. I remember when the Spider-Man uh, movie was teased and they still had the Twin Towers in the picture, uh, never forget. And uh, everybody was kind of like, what in the world is a Spider-Man movie gonna be like? How are they gonna do the web-slinging? How are they going to show him, like, climbing on walls? Does everybody remember the 70s Nicholas Hammond Spider-Man show? I mean, they just pulled him up the building with a rope. It looks so fake and weird. And the stunt guy was so terrified of being pulled up the side of the building that he hardly even put his palms or his feet on the building. So it just kind of looked like he was gliding up, you know? But, of course, they pulled it off and Spider-Man became a franchise and it's still going strong in the theaters today with the current Spider-Man, Tom Holland. But Tobey Maguire has always kind of had a soft place in my heart. I thought he did a great job as Peter Parker. He was a little bit older than, uh, you know, some of the other Spider-People that we've seen over the years. But I thought he did a great job aside from, It's Spider-Man! Mary Jane, why are, you, uh, why, why are you doing this to me? Why are we breaking up again? You know, the, the whiny aspect of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Oh. Like, I haven't heard that before. Zip it, Zippy! You're a meme! Get used to it! Not all memes are bad. Anyway, where was I? Oh, what's happening here? A lot of people want him to come back and uh, be Uncle Ben with the hot Aunt May, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. So, this spider suit, of course, has no powers. Tough guy, huh? Which is kind of a staple for all the different you know, Spider-Man suits. And of course, we're getting three new suits tomorrow with the Silver Lining DLC. And some of them are meh. The only one that I really can't stand is, of course, uh, Cyborg Spider-Man because it's not a fun suit. You guys have read uh, the Spider-Man Cyborg. It was something horrible that happened to poor Petey. I mean, I'll save it for the lore episode, but meh. It was not a good thing. Think like Cable, except horrible. You know? And also the uh, Japanese Spider-Man. Well, not Japanese Spider-Man, but another spider armor, which... Eh, I don't know why they decided that it would be a good idea for this game to have a lot of spider armors, but it does. So I'm just kind of sick of the spider armors, to be honest. You know, I I'm not an insomniac apologetist, so, you know, when I have a problem with the game, I'm gonna tell you guys. It's really cool that the suit has uh, been added to the game, but I didn't really follow the controversy 
Um, I really feel that a lot of the people that kiss the Somniacs butt, they're kind of, um, they never get mad at them at anything because they fear like they're not going to get any kickbacks or anything like that. So a lot of the honesty from, quote, the Spidey Squad or Super Spider Friends, whatever you want to call them, it's not really 100% legit. So, yeah. That's the problem I always had with the Arkham community as well, is I was kind of like, not necessarily a whistleblower, but when I had a problem with something that Rocksteady would do, I wouldn't shy away from fear that I wouldn't get a copy of the game, you know? So, eh, that that's just me. But apparently there is a whole controversy surrounding this, which we're not going to get into. Uh, I think that people shouldn't harass developers if that's what happened. Uh, I don't really remember a lot of drama uh, over Rocksteady stuff. The fans, for the most part, were pretty good, uh, aside from adamant complaints about the Batmobile, which were warranted. It was a tank. It did ruin a lot of the game, but the game did give us the most Batman costumes that we've ever had in a game. And I want to say that Spider-Man on the PS4 has broke the uh, Spider-Man costume skins, but it hasn't come anywhere close to Spider-Man Unlimited. Which, it would actually be cool to see uh, Spider-Man Unlimited, if it's still going on, to also get the Raimi suit, as we are getting close to the 20th anniversary of uh, that movie. Not long now. Which, yeah, if you remember seeing that film, whoa, are you in for uh, some, like, what, 20 years ago? Not long now, my friends. Not long now. And of course, this uh, costume was also put in to hype up the Spider-Verse movie, which a lot of uh, theory people believe that the Spider-Verse costume is, of course, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Although, I'm one of those people that I don't refer to the different costumes as, uh, we'll say, by the director. I don't call the Keaton suit the Burton suit because... Tim Burton wasn't the one to wear the costume. It was Tobey Maguire. So this would be the Maguire suit. If people were, you know, calling it by the, the right name. And, uh, you know, Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire, they did a lot of great stuff. So it's cool that this costume is in it. Uh, I'm going to mess around and see if I can find some Tobey Maguire video game music. But at the same time, like I said, kind of sick of this costume because I've seen it so much this year. But it's awesome to have it in. It, it just is. I mean, it looks great. If you're a fan of that movie franchise, you know, you can easily download this thing for free. Uh, some people's system have updated it, and it's already available. I didn't have to download it, but it is available on the uh, PlayStation, PSN, whatever you want to call the thing. So you can totally check that out. But I actually want to see what the suit looks like while we're climbing up the side of the wall and stuff like that. Doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty awesome, actually. Having fun yet? The web suit in action. Let's go beat up some more bad guys. Actually, you know, before we do that, let's uh, equip him. So currently using Web Blossom, what would be a good power that Tobey Maguire Spidey would have? I'd be cool to see him with the electric powers, just because I love the electric ability so much. He didn't really necessarily have um, massive super strength compared to some of the other Spideys. And he didn't really quip all that much, except for the video games. So let's do the electric webbing. So that's always fun. Alright, bad guys, where you at? What are you doing? Causing trouble in my neighborhood? Aha! There you guys are. doing a little window shopping. Oh, it's these guys. That's right, because this isn't my 100% file. So if you guys are wondering what's going on with the save file, well, uh, it's not a 100% one. Who's ready to get zapped? Booyah! Oh, man. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep the whole Silver Lining DLC uh, spoiler free for you guys right now, but there's some stuff that happened that I'm not too thrilled about, but it's probably because of the Spider-Verse movie that they did that. Uh, Sony is master marketing people just like DC when it comes to their Batman games, so they also are reflecting what's going on in the uh, film industry. It's not a coincidence. Okay, I need to take care of this fool. 
Can I take care of this fool? Yeah, I can. Bye. Later, loser. Ah! You peeps just got owned. Alright. Swing into action, Spidey. So yeah, uh, I won't spoil what happened, but if you guys have seen the Spider-Verse movie, you can kind of tell how the Silver Lining DLC is going to end. So, I mean, that's a mixed bag for me. I really feel that they should have added uh, maybe that scene and some of the other stuff for the second game, which will most definitely come out. This game got nominated for Game of the Year. Didn't win, but it did get nominated, and it's currently nominated for IGN's Game of the Year, which probably won't win, but nominations are good. And there's a lot of uh, stuff that they can do to make the second game even better. I mean, I think this is a fantastic game. And uh, I think that the next one will be even better. But I don't think you'll get as many spider costumes as you did in this game. Uh, this has been a long time coming for, you know, fans of Spider-Man. Because uh, a lot of his early comic book games did have a bunch of costumes. But this one just has the most for a console game, I'll say that. And it's got some pretty good ones. Since we're all done with the DLC now, and uh, the silver lining is over, which is kind of upsetting because I would have hoped they would continue to support this game uh, into 2019, but it doesn't look that's going to be the case. I will be putting together my top 10 favorite DLC costumes. Actually, I don't even think I can do top 5. No, have to be top... Yeah, it'd be top 5, yeah. Can't do top 10. But I can do my top 10 favorite costumes in Spider-Man, the PS4 game. Out of my way. Man, you guys are making things difficult for me here. That's right, I gotta use my spider wheel. So, I've been playing a, another superhero game of late, which uh, <laughs> you guys might enjoy tomorrow. I'm playing Outrageous Aquaman. Yep, the horrible uh, GameCube game. I'm done with the 3D Spider-Man games because I will never be able to play Spider-Man Ultimate. I might be able to do kind of like a live stream or something for that game. My problem with Ultimate Spider-Man, which I've mentioned to you guys, is the races. The races are part of the game's curriculum or like they're mandatory so you can't skip them. It's not like the Raimi games where a lot of the side missions are kind of like you have options in order to progress the story. There's no options in Ultimate Spider-Man. You have to do the races, you have to beat up the bad guys, and if you don't do it, it won't unlock and progress the story. So Spider-Man PS4 got that right by keeping the side missions just that, side missions. They're not needed in order to complete the story. You can do them if you want to at any time, just like the Arkham games. Well, actually, no. Some of the Arkham stuff was all... Uh, locked behind different parts of the story, so I take that back. That's not 100% correct. Okay, you know what? We're gonna need to go with Wet Blossom. As much as I like the electricity thing, Wet Blossom has become my best friend in the world. Oh, never mind. I take that back. It's not my best friend. Stupid Wet Blossom. You have a lot of pep for someone your age. All right, that's it, Weiner Man. Let's go, you and me. You should really look into some anger management classes. That's it. Ah! Well, <laughs> that escalated quickly, but with the distractions out of the way, let's continue this showcase, shall we? <clears throat> Just ignore all that other stuff. So yeah, make sure you guys download this suit, it's pretty awesome. I need to kind of uh, end on a high note though, so we need to find some crime to punish so that, uh, there we go, speak of the devil. Now I need to also like land on an American flag because the Raimi films had a lot of American flag imagery, <laughs> which is fine. But it's something I always noticed about uh, the Sam Raimi movies. And if you didn't know this, Sam Raimi is also responsible for the Evil Dead movies, or Army of Darkness, with Bruce Campbell. And Bruce Campbell was supposed to play Mysterio, and Mysterio is now the villain, or AK Spider character, in Spider-Man Far From Home. Which, I'm sure he'll become a baddie, or go crazy, or something like that. They're gonna be fighting aliens or something. I don't know if they're scrolls or what have you, but... I'm sure they'll have it all tied in or something. Uh-oh. Catch! That's what you get. 
And of course, we're actually going to be playing against a lot of Sable people starting tomorrow anyway, because they are part of the Silver Lining DLC, which... I don't know, I, I think the DLC is pretty weak. The fact that they made Hammerhead into... Uh, kind of like a cyborg thing is just dumb. Hammerhead is a big enough threat for Spider-Man as he is with his metal plate in his head. Going by the different Spider-Man cartoons and comic books and stuff like that. So, turning him into a mech is kind of lame and lazy writing. But, that's just my two cents on that. I'm still excited to play it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll have the first episode up for you guys sometime tomorrow. Which... Probably because Sony is late on uh, DLC releases. I would say the first episode of The Silver Lining will be up like around probably 4 o'clock. Right around the time of this uh, special DLC. And no, Amber's not here to commentate because she is at work. But I'm sure she would be super excited. I will be using the Raimi suit for the first episode of the DLC. Just because I love the look of this suit. I think it's great. Uh, even though I said I'm kind of annoyed by, you know, continually seeing this suit. That's just because I played the uh, other games as I was trying to cover all the 3D Spider-Man games, which is kind of bittersweet because now I really don't have a lot of uh, Spider-Man games to cover. I'm, I'm all caught up. It's all over. All said and done. Ah! How do you like that? Silver lining punks. Whoops. Okay, you know what? I'm getting a little cocky here. A lot of people wish that Maguire kind of uh, would quip more, but if you played the video games to death, he quips a lot. Sometimes they're funny. I don't think he was a terrible Spider-Man. I think he's great for the first ever film Spider-Man. Although, technically, if we're uh, getting into that can of worms, wouldn't Nicholas Hammond, the 70s Spider-Man, be the first ever movie Spider-Man? Because he had some movies. Or were they episodes that were later edited to be movies? They still ended up on video. Just like technically, Chris Evans is not the first movie Captain America. There was a guy in the 90s. Which, you know, he wasn't uh, that good. And the suit looked kind of ridiculous. Uh-oh. What's up, Sable Fools? I'm Spider-Man! Spider-Kick! Oh my gosh. That's the end of those fools. Now we're gonna climb on the building. Also, the uh, Raimi suit was one of the first ever to allow you to uh, run up the side of a building in the other Spider-Man games, so that's kind of... brings it full circle. Since uh, Spider-Man 2, the video game, was one of the major blueprints for this game's web-slinging and a lot of its uh, physics. So, I think it just comes full circle to use the Tobey Maguire suit. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are done! I hope you guys enjoy your early Christmas present from Sony and Insomniac. The suit is pretty cool. It would definitely make my uh, top 10 suits. I just love the design of it. I wish they could have called it the movie suit or something like that, but the web suit makes sense. Make sure you guys smash that like button in the comment section below. Tell me your favorite Spider-Man suit that's in this game or suit that didn't make it in. If there was a particular spider suit that you really wanted to see in this game, tell me what it is and why you wanted it and what impact it had on you growing up. Until we meet again, guys, God bless and happy gaming. I will see you tomorrow with the Spider-Man Silver Lining Part 1. Excelsior!